another debut here at Shield Pro. It's the fabulous Jonathan Richards. And I don't think the fans know exactly what to make of this guy. The last time there was a show here, he was on the commentary table. He didn't join you on the commentary, right, Tommy? I have absolutely no idea. I wasn't here. Oh, I yes, drunk. of course. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what I should be doing right now. Oh, I've already started. Spread the joy. Oh, this is easy. Ah. Just in case they do a test. No, do I do beg your pardon. He did assist on the commentary table, so you will have heard his voice before, and you will have got a glimpse into kind of man he's uh, kind of man he is. But speaking of men, yes, go on. Speaking of men, I've well, got to hear the end of this one. Well, I uh, uh huh. I'm not quite sure what to make of Yorkshire Dale and if he really is a man. Who knows what could be under that? Boy. Yorkshire Dale, obviously, a, a big fan favourite here, and rightfully so. He's a, become a staple of Shields Pro. And some of the matches do not let the fact that he is bright and colourful and pretends to be a scarecrow fool you. This man can wrestle. He can wrestle. Did, did you just say he can wrestle? You just assumed his gender. The gender fluid, apparently, Yorkshire Dale. You asked Yorkshire Dale what his gender was? I can't get a word out of him. Not that I'd want to speak to him. Yeah, that's, that's, what I'm, that's what really confuses me. Does he actually speak? I've never spoken to him. I've been there when words have been said, but I've never actually heard him speak. It's your journalistic abilities that impress me the most. Well, Even more than your timekeeping. Well... Oh! As he seems to be checking the ref, which isn't the right way around. And oh, okay. Now I'm expecting this to be an absolute classic along the lines of Flair Steamboat. What say you? Well, it depends on which match Flair Steamboat had. We, you're all, we're all familiar with the classics that they've had, but if they ever had maybe like a sparring session similar to the end of Rocky 3, yeah, I'm kind of expected to be along the lines of that. Okay, I've uh, only ever seen one film, The Princess Bride, the greatest film of all time, so unfortunately I can't get the reference. I'm sure our fans at home do, though. As Yorkshire Dale appears to be doing a wrestling hold, as he's handing a, a very sloppy wrist lock across to the you referee. Say, you were saying that Yorkshire Dale was doing a wrestling hold? Apparently not. Oh, well, that's interesting. Jonathan Richards there asking if Yorkshire Dale is taking this seriously. The fans get into it here. I'd best point out that this match is sponsored by Poker at your place. This is what I like to see. Solid headlock. None of this nonsense from Yorkshire Deal. I'm telling you, man, Yorkshire Deal can wrestle. The only thing is, is that in matches like these, he doesn't appear to get involved in the match so much. As the referee is caught in a headlock, and now Yorkshire Deal is asking him, does he, does he give in? Does the referee give in? Apparently not. Obviously very tough. Saying there should be no fun 
in this match. And we had the fans here disagree. Well, that was a pretty solid kick to the bottom rope by Richards. Really finding its mark. It'd be nice to see if the, the, if the two of them are going to wrestle and the back into it. Side headlock applied there by Richards. Into a wrist lock. Going around the back of Yorkshire Deal. Yorkshire Deal doesn't have any way out of this, so he can't use the referee to his advantage, which I think has learned the lesson of staying away from these two men. Yorkshire Deal sits out, rolls through, manages to reverse it into a wrist lock of his own. I think the referee's learned to stand back there so he doesn't get involved in this again. Well, they were watching the earlier match between Little Miss Roxy and Lucy Paul. They had a very similar uh, scenario with, with wrist lock, reversed into wrist lock, reversed into wrist lock. Yeah. Very common at the beginning of the wrestling match, just to feel out your opponent at the same time wear them down. It certainly gives you a feel for what they can do strength-wise and athletically. Well, I was going to say, I think Yorkshire Deal is biting Richards. There, how? I don't quite know how. It was effective, though. Referee didn't see it, so if the referee didn't see it, it's all legal. He looks as if he would give you a nasty suck. But what he gets up to in his cornfields is his own business. In that void where most people have got a mouth. Then back to the side headlocks. Richards pushing Deal out of this. Yorkshire Deal responds with a shoulder block. Shooting off the ropes. Lies down next to Richards. Yeah. Richards tried to trip him. And it's a pretty effective thumbs up there by Yorkshire Deal. And this may give him the advantage early on. Right, and apparently it's just this ridiculous leapfrog competition. You may think it's ridiculous, but Yorkshire Deal's gaining the advantage. You've got to watch it. Oh, press-ups. Another, another, another leapfrog. Now I've seen this before, and I've got a feeling. Yeah, I think we've all seen this before. But I think Richards hasn't seen it before because he's fallen for it. He might be about to fall for it. He might be about to fall through it. Quite literally. So keep an eye on the bottom in the second row, here, folks, because Richards is about to become a. Oh, oh no, he's done his research. Maybe we should give him a microphone. He's just described exactly what was about to happen. Give me yours. Either way, even if he was smart enough to avoid it from Yorkshire Dale. Yorkshire Dale still with the advantage here with a great big double axe handle from the, the apron. Two of these guys brawling on the outside. It's not somewhere you normally see Yorkshire Dale brawling on the outside. Oh, nearly through. His opponent straight on the corners and now just having a race around the ring. Oh! And it's knocked itself out on the post. Jonathan Richards has just run straight into the ring post. Remember, this is the man who, who wasn't smart enough, sorry, who was, wasn't stupid enough to jump through the bottom and middle rope, has just ran into the ring post. Well, what I think's happened there, when I've just looked up, I can see it. That floor is wet. There's no wet floor sign, and he slipped. Are you really telling me that the floor was... Oh, and using a child was advantage now. There was maybe some health and safety issues there, but uh, I'm not telling if you're not telling. Health Don't and safety tell. gone mad. Who hits somebody with a child? Yorkshire Deal, and it was very effective. Oh, he's not doing it again, is he? Well, he might do. It worked oh, the last time. Yorkshire Deal using the child as a battering ram against Jonathan Richards, who takes one way trip to the floor. Well, can he ring child line about that? He's getting abused by the kid. Well, he might be able to, either way, it's resulted in a two count uh, from that pin attempt by Yorkshire Deal. So Richard is clearly still into it, maybe he was distracted thinking about whether he can ring child line or not. Well, it's all about ringing. 
I would say that Yorkshire Dale's head's ringing right now, especially after that huge clothesline. Indeed. <laughs> well, Richards has got himself back into this match. However, he's just headbutted Yorkshire Dale, hurt himself there. It's not necessarily high risk for whatever you needed, but it is effective because it now, as a reverse from before, we have Richards on his second pin attempt, gaining two each time. Three may be the magic number, but the more pin attempts that you make, the more you wear your opponent down, and Richards is back into it and in a comfortable enough a position to go for the pin. Oh, he's working on that leg. That's interesting because he may go in to the storm hold, which is almost, it's like a modified half Boston that he does, that he calls the storm hold. And he's working on Yorkshire Dale's legs, and that's exactly what will be going through his mind. There is method to this madness. If he manages to wear the leg down of Yorkshire Dale and then apply that manoeuvre, then it is all over as far as anyone is concerned. Well, but he's going to be careful not to get distracted. He's getting distracted by Yorkshire Dale arguing with him. Do you think he speaks just really quietly? I think he's telepathic. Right. I've got no evidence to back that up. I just think he might be telepathic. Well, if he's telepathic, raise my hand. And certainly be wanting his hand raised in victory as he goes for that sunset flip kind of roll. Oh, huge head And that's the second time that Richards has gone for that headbutt and hurt himself in the process. Well, that's what will happen with a headbutt. It will hurt your opponent if you get it just right. But you always take the risk of knocking yourself silly as well. I'm not entirely sure why he's gone through it a second time. It because he's got a hard head and it's effective. Yeah, but he's going to run the risk of knocking himself out and it is both times. However, it doesn't matter if he breaks the rules and the referee counts him out, he is disqualified and the match will be over anyway. Using the second rope to his advantage there, now drawing Yorkshire Deal across the top rope. Shameless, perhaps, is probably a little bit more accurate. We're going for the three count and not finding it on that occasion. He doesn't want to get distracted with an argument with the fans. Huge suplex there. Oh, very arrogant pin, and it's not going to work. No pressure being applied there whatsoever to Yorkshire Deal. Counting Yorkshire Deal out, counting Yorkshire Deal rather out so early is not a good idea as many of the people that Yorkshire Dale have beaten can attest to. This is very true. As I said before, do not let the, the colour and the fun and the, and the various quirky gimmicks that Yorkshire Dale has distract you from the fact that this guy can wrestle and many people have underestimated him and lost to him. However, high risk maneuver coming up, and this is more high risk, I think, than a headbutt. As Richards looks like he's struggling to maintain his balance, but the longer he spends up there, the more time Yorkshire Dale has to recuperate. Up, oh, he's coming down a peg. Not quite so high risk. Not going to hit the lights either. He's telling everyone that he's not Seamus, but I don't remember accusing him of being Seamus. Seamus in the wash, maybe, perhaps. Oh, okay, he's back on the he's back on the bottom rope. Not quite so risk. Oh, no. Well, reverse that bottom rope diving splash. Yeah, he went for the superfly. I've seen superfly Jimmy Snooker hit Don Morocco with that off the top of a steel cage. And the third headbutt is with resulted in a very unfortunate accident for his missus. Not tonight, Richards, you'll have a heavy. But now both men are down. It depends which head. And an unintentional low blow there found by Yorkshire Dale has resulted in both men on the mat. We're now at a count of five for possible ten. 
again. But the referee reaches 10. Both men will be counted out and it will result in a draw. Which is unfortunately not the, well, I wouldn't want to see this match end in a draw. I think it'll be a very unfortunate way to end, but one is back to his feet. Yorkshire Dale is now back to his feet, holding that head of his. Straight across the jaw there by Yorkshire Dale. Forearm shot there by Richards. Yorkshire Dale returning with one of his own. Forearm to the jaw. And he's gone for that head, but yet again. Both men are now feeling the effects of the head, but now Yorkshire deal with the head, but... See, this is risky because you do not know what is underneath that mask. I think it's probably somebody who's very high-functioning. A high-functioning telepath. Not after those headbutts. Certainly ringing sounds, I'd imagine. They've both had their bells rung, but now we're back into it. Ah, there we go! Oh, the Yorkshire Dale straight in with the cover there, hooks the leg. He's put people away with that manoeuvre before, but not tonight. He has, I think that's the hair mass that he's just gone for. It is indeed, and Richards is now wondering where he is, although he did manage to kick out it too. He joins a very select group of people who've been able to do that. The Yorkshire Dale sets up, one in the corner, drop kick into the corner. I think he's going to set him up for, is he going to go for that roll in the hair? I believe he is. If one move doesn't work, he usually goes for this one and finds his mark, as he has done here. Not a stir out of Richards, who's down for one, down for two, but not down for three. Managed to keep kick out straight away from that one. Very definitely shoulder up there from Richards. And now Yorkshire Dale is wondering what he has to do to put this man away. Richards is trying to get back to his feet. Richards managed to power out. Now hitting a DDT of his own. Yeah, I think Yorkshire Dale was going for that last straw of his, but he struggled, uh, he struggled to get it lost. Oh, there in. we go! The storm hole, I mentioned it earlier. Right in and the he's middle of the ring. Very much in the middle. And now Yorkshire Dale has got to try and drag himself to the ropes. If he manages to get to the ropes, he can break the hold. The match will continue. But there's a lot of damage to be done. Look at that, he's just dragged him straight back. Look at the strength there's here. a lot of rev leverage, but he's refusing. Yorkshire Dale is refusing to tap out. We've already seen somebody submit to a, a, a pressure hold like that. Oh no, Richard has dragged him back into the middle of the ring again. He's got a lot of leverage, a lot of power, but Yorkshire Dio manages to power himself to the bottom rope. Richard is not relinquishing the hold, despite all the work that he's already done on that left leg. He's got a five count and he used it. You're not really supposed to break that five count, despite what the rules. He didn't, he so was well with no, it. No, no, that is true, he didn't break it, but it's not but there to be knee. used. Look at that knee, Yorkshire Dale has now got a very poorly left oh, wheel. He's very slow, he's very gingerly making his way back up to only one foot. And like a vulture, Richard has gone right in there, hooking both arms, but now Yorkshire Dale has managed to reverse it into his form. Enziguri finding its mark. Unfortunately, I don't know if that leg was really strong enough, but there he goes. There we go. Strong, down he goes. And maybe this time it'll find its mark. Hooks both legs to keep away from the ropes. It works. He's got the three count. Yorkshire Dale runs away the victor. Well, the fabulous Jonathan Richards came here hoping for a debut win here in Shield Pro. But unfortunately, it was clearly Yorkshire Dale who had the last straw.